Okay, I have it enough BLDC motors and I was thinking how to drive them. I wanted to make a homemade uh, ESC controller or something, but then I went to the net to check out whether somebody has already made one. I tried that, did it work? So then I went straight to the online store and uh, bought this. Where it is? Oh, here it is. You know, I keep it here. This. I bought so in the video I'm gonna unbox this thing I'm gonna see how well it performs with a motor a BLDC motor let's take it out and yeah I'm using the leak motor all links are provided in the description below if you want to go check that out okay so now I'm gonna connect this uh, wire to this okay I'll just need this stripper and I have everything in my studio. So I'm gonna strip the wire. Okay, so this video is for both a video and my unboxing channel. If you haven't uh, went there to subscribe, you can go subscribe there. Open gear. I forgot to hit record there anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this wire together to the power supply. I'm gonna, I'm also gonna afterwards tell you where which wire goes where. For now, I'm just gonna plug this in and turn this on my power supply. Okay, here it is. So, moment of truth. First of all, will it work? Okay, put this here. Turning on at 12 volts. It's rated voltage is also that much. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. I don't know if it was working. Was the motor not working? Is this motor blown? We're gonna keep it here. So you can see this. I'm gonna edit the clip later. Okay, you can see here. I'm gonna zoom this in to that area. Okay, set it to 28 mm focal length. So you can see uh, it's not working. Of course, it's not working. Well, I'm gonna hopefully, it's the problem of the thingy, but I forgot to. It record all that camera so you have saw this clip anyway okay so you can see now I hated this record on now so now hopefully you can see this clip okay I'm gonna close the display it's not helping okay so now plugging it in again in this motor is jam oh Running at low RPMs. This motor seems kind of blown too. After a fall this long, I.
running pretty quiet. <laughs> it's running pretty cool quietly. Like, like one ampere, two ampere, three ampere, four ampere. and this is one. This is literally fade this out. remote control car with this <laughs> this is the idle speed they should be running it <laughs> it's like an engine actually <laughs> like if you press the pedal it goes higher you can actually connect the kind of these thingies that you can press and it the motor goes faster and slower. Oh, but uh, how do you need an idle speed in a uh, electric car? Hmm. Hmm? How do you feel? For me, no, because the uh, the battery is there. The battery will supply the current. We don't need to use the motor to turn another generator. The battery is okay to do. feel that how the car works we need a BBL DC driver for sure Sometimes it goes 
crazy. Uh -huh. Um, let me go. Oh, I keep, keep it. The left side, the wire came out. The wire, yeah. That's why it doesn't hammer in. Then make a bump from this. An air blower, yeah. Gonna be an air blower. I can make an elevator from this. Like this turn of the power, turn the power on, and the direction will don't need to flip out. Just flick with a flick of a switch. The direction changes. We call switch the direction. We have the same direction. I'm gonna go up. Yes. Now this is the direction. Up and down. And it goes crazy sometimes. Like. Drrr. Okay, I think this is a half blown motor actually. Yeah, I'll tell you. So, yeah, performing well, you can say. So, hope you have enjoyed this video. And as usual, okay, so that's it for today. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Okay.